Well, the practice of engineering out there in the field has changed dramatically in the last 10, 15 years with the advent of modern computing uh, technology and the use of large computer codes. Computational engineering is the numerical simulation of physical phenomena. And we use physics-based computer programs and large computers to essentially build a model of whatever it is you're trying to design in virtual space before you ever cut metal. It's much easier in today's world to simulate on the computer than it is to go out and actually build something. Whether it's uh, blood flow in the heart or flow over a uh, spacecraft. We do a lot of work on submarines, a lot of work for the Navy. NASA has contracted with us. We can bring computational engineering to bear on problems of national importance. This is a world-class laboratory and group of scientists that was unprecedented in the university's history. And what it does is it engages us in research and problem solving for national problems. Radiance Technologies has benefited in the fact that we're able now to simulate uh, large and small antenna design. Uh, it's provided a source of research in electromagnetics. And this is real research at a very high level. And whether it's a drag reduction on uh, 18 wheelers at uh, US Express or Covenant Transport, or whether it's new airplanes that Boeing is making. The Sim Center's given us at US Express the knowledge to be able to take different ideas and test. You know, tire, for instance, can save a lot in fuel economy. We'll buy close to $40 million worth of fuel in one month. And according to the calculations that the SIM centers come up with, we can improve fuel economy by 8%. That's tremendous. Natural resources are becoming limited. The Sim Center is developing, optimizing, improving fuel cells as we speak. We have a fuel cell alternative energy lab out back. A fuel cell is really the engine of the future. The whole competitiveness agenda is this global question of is the United States falling behind places like China and India in terms of science, math, and engineering? And the answer is yes we are and we've got to do something about it. If China and India are educating 850,000 engineers a year and the United States is educating 70,000, uh, we're going to be in a mess in 10 to 15 years. So if a center uh, were built in Chattanooga between Huntsville and Oak Ridge, talking about competitiveness, uh, we'll be solving problems for the world and making money at the same time. The SIM Center combined with the, the research talent at Oak Ridge, combined with the research talent at the university, is world class. Well, first of all, to UTC it brought a doctoral program, something that uh, has then allowed us to attract a number of really, really bright people from around the country. So it really brought a knowledge base to our community that's going to be very helpful as we move our community into the future. I think my vision for the Sim Center is that we'll be producing 20 to 30 young, skilled PhDs that will go out there and make a difference. The more we can distribute success in our science and technology and get that into society and they can see that visible mark here in this state that is as is, is good as anything in the world, 